Welcome back friends. Welcome to another video tutorial from Shomu's Biology. And uh, today we want to talk about a very interesting concept uh, is the difference between ABO blood type and Bombay blood type. Uh, so I'm going to talk about what is uh, Bombay blood type and then I'm going to talk uh, about what are the differences between the two as well as I'm going to talk about the genetics behind uh, ABO as well as the Bombay blood type. Now the very first thing is that Bombay blood type is a very very rare blood type which is found one out of one million people around the world and actually uh, this blood type is earlier found uh, of a person from Bombay right now Mumbai that's why we call it Bombay blood type because earlier uh, when a person is rushed into a hospital a story goes like something like a person is rushed into the hospital and they, then the doctor tried to match that person because the person is injured a lot of blood loss so they went to uh, fill it with the blood and none of the donors actually match with the blood of that existing donor because earlier we knew that the blood types can be A, B, A, B and O, four separate blood types, general blood type that we know, ABO system of blood type. But none of these bloods are actually matching. So doctors decided to find out after several different matches and mismatches, uh, they found out finally one single donor of such kind whose blood is now finally matched. So it was found out that this is very rare kind of blood type which can be donated to any other blood group carrying person like uh, uh, from Bombay blood type person we can donate the blood to blood type A, B, A, B and O but this type of person cannot receive uh, blood from neither of this A, B, A, B and O blood type people. So this becomes very rare and very very dangerous for this kind of persons to leave if they lose a lot of blood due to trauma or accidents and stuff. So that's why people build a community of this uh, Bombay blood type. So in a worldwide there are very few people like now available and actually registered donors are also very less uh, who can actually donate for this blood type. So it's really really rare. Now the question is what is the difference between this ABO and Bombay blood type system and what makes the difference. Now the basic thing that you always need to know about this blood system is that uh, if you look at the genetics, the idea goes like IA, IA or simply goes like IAI uh, or you can write IB, IB or can go with IBI, IA, IB and small i, small i. Now the question is this A and B, these are specific gene, I mean uh, allele of a specific gene, uh, that gene is blood type coding gene. Now that gene, uh, there are versions of that gene. There's a version called A, there's a version called B. And version A produces a certain enzyme, A, uh, as well as version B produces a certain enzyme, A transferase and B transferase. There are two separate types of enzymes that they actually produce. Now the presence of A uh, will give a specific antigen on the surface of red blood cell. Got it? So if I draw the red blood cell in here, let's say this is our red blood cell. This is the red blood cell and on the top of red blood cell we have this, this A to be present. Okay. So if A is present on the surface of a red blood cell as an antigen, we call this as blood type, blood type A. Now for a blood type B, we have B to be present. So let me draw here, this is blood type B. B present on the surface. It becomes blood type B. Okay. Now, if both of these antigens are present together, A as well as B, we call that kind of blood type as AB. And if neither of these blood types are present, let me draw the third one here. Neither of these blood types are present, just R, B, C, we call it O type. So this is uh, the funda behind ABO blood type system. We call it as a multiple allelic inheritance because the combination of these alleles give rise to different kind of phenotype expression. For example, normally what we know, uh, alleles uh, always express the dominant versions. That means uh, if A is dominant over B, so if AB both are present, the phenotype will be of A. But in this case, 
uh, if AB both are present, the phenotype is something different, a third new phenotype that is AB. And if neither A or B is present, in that case, a totally different phenotype O. So with the two allele combination, we used to get only two phenotypes. But in this case, we are getting four phenotypes from two alleles. We call it multiple allelic inheritance. We can also call it as a allelic heterogeneity. Now, the thing is, in case, so this is the AB of blood system. Now, why this A and B are present? Because this genetic IAIA, so if A is present in both the locus or in even one locus, it will add A and B gene. If B is present in both the locus or a single locus, it will add a B and B gene. If A and B are present in two opposite locus, it will be AB blood type. It will add A and B both antigens together. In, if neither A nor B are present, then it will not add any kind of antigen in the surface. So it's very easy to predict, right? So it's really easy. Now the question here is, what happens? I mean, why this A and B are produced? Because this, this allele A and B, uh, they help to produce enzymes that actually converts a very precursor surface molecule, which is known as H antigen. Think about it. H antigen. Okay. So H antigen is a precursor. And this A and H antigen can be converted to type B, uh, I mean antigen B. It can be also converted to antigen A. Okay. Now, if product of IA is present, then H antigen will be converted to A antigen. If product of IB is present, then H antigen will be converted to B antigen. Now, Generally, to produce this A antigen, because these are antigen, means you know, obviously most are protein moieties and sugar moieties that are present on the surface. So, the sugar moieties that we are talking about for A antigen is the presence of galactosamine. So, galactosamine is present, which is very unique to only produce antigen A. But antigen B, there is no galactosamine presence. So, IA adds galactosamine that is linked with H antigen to produce A antigen. But in, the, in case of IB, there is no uh, uh, galactosamine, there is other moiety added to produce B antigen. So now the question is if IA or IB, none of them are present, no conversion of H antigen. So H antigen remains as A antigen. So this is the genotype, small i, small i, that means there is no A antigen, no B antigen. So in this case, only H antigen is present and found on the surface of red blood cell. So person who has this only H antigen in the surface of red blood cell is known as O blood type as this one, O blood type. So O blood type means they only have preliminary H antigen. But what happens to this Bombe blood type is that these people, they do not have even H antigen. That's the difference. That's why they are not matching with anything. Because when they are tested at the beginning, they are tested for A, A antigen, they are tested for B antigen. We didn't find that. So doctors thought like, okay, there is no A antigen, no B antigen. So that means there should be H antigen at least. But it was a surprise. There was no H antigen. So Bombay blood type carriers, they don't have even H antigen. So that's why they do not belong to O blood type. So this is the third uh, uh, and fifth new blood type that is in this case Bombay blood type because it's originated. The first donor found in Bombay. But literally it's not like only Bombay people have this. Uh, people around the globe can have this uh, genotype and can have this phenotype. Now this one, uh, as I said, there is no H antigen. And if there is no H antigen, they have antibody against all of it. They have antibody against uh, anti-A, anti-B, as well as anti-H, right? So this Bombay blood type carrying people, they have anti-A antibody, anti-B antibody, anti-H antibody. So that means if you donate the blood of blood type A or a blood type B or a blood type O in all locations, this blood type prepared antibody against all these antigens. So they are going to kill the red blood cells, destroy the red blood cell. So they are not going to help, they are not going to allow the, uh, the person to live. That's why people with Bombay blood type cannot receive the blood from any other group. But as it has uh, multiple, so they can actually, as there is no antigen present on the surface, they can easily provide their blood to any other blood type, A, B, A, B, or O. 
Okay, so they become an universal donor, but they can never receive from anybody else except for another Bombay blood type people. So that's why it's very difficult when a person with Bombay blood type uh, lose uh, lost some blood. It becomes really difficult for that person to get it, and that's why this is really a matter of concern. Okay, so. Now the genetics of Bombay blood type. Let me let me show you the genetics of Bombay blood type as well. Let me show you the genetics of Bombay blood type states the capital H and small h, two separate alleles. Capital H adds the H antigen to the surface of RBC. Small h means recessive allele. That means no H antigen. So let's imagine two person both are heterozygous for H which is rare in this condition male and female mated and the, the probabilities are this one out of four of this heterozygous cross may receive this small h, small h, that means no h antigen. Because this small h, small h means both are present in a recessive form, homozygous recessive, no h antigen, thus become the Bombay blood type. Okay? But these three people, they are good enough because they have a good copy of capital H, that means they can produce h antigen and they remain. A part of ABO blood system. That's why you know it's one out of four. And as uh, many people live in, uh, they mostly have this capital H, capital H, or capital H, small h. Because let's say if another process, if I draw uh, capital H, capital H with capital H, small h, all of the individual, 100% will be ABO blood type. So to form this homozygous recessive one is rare. That's why this blood type is very very rare. Okay. So that's uh, all about the difference between ABO blood type as well as uh, Bombay blood type. I hope you understand the process. So if you like this video please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, share this video as much as you can with all the social media platforms. Thank you very much. Stay tuned to watch the next video.